It's Red Friday in the Chiefs Kingdom, and as fans prepare for the 2020 Super Bowl champions to kick off the NFL season Thursday night, they have the opportunity to support a good cause. Hey, she got a shirt on. That's right, you're right. That's right, you got it. How many can we get you? $10, Chiefs fans started lining up at 5 a.m. Wednesday morning to get their hands on one Red Friday flag or two or 30. I think we've sold a, a group of 30. Just four. Or no, five. Five for friends. I bought four. We get you. Two of them. Get them while you can. McDonald's says they've ordered three times the amount of flags this year as they have in past years thinking more fans are going to want to get their hands on those special edition Super Bowl champion flags. Hello. Hi, Hi, please. I appreciate it. No cheese. I was going to say Right now, we've sold at this location over a thousand flags. It's just been amazing. It's been amazing since we got here. We've had people now driving from Chillicothe to buy flags and from Kansas City to buy flags. The game plan is to raise one million dollars for the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Red Friday flag sales have always gone towards the charity, but McDonald's officials say the fundraiser is even more important this year as the COVID-19 pandemic has put a strain on the charity. Uh, there was a period of time where they couldn't have people in the house, so they were paying for those families to stay in hotel rooms. So the financial burden on the house was significant. So this is a game changer for them, and we hope to sell out very quickly. There should be no problem raising that money, as Chiefs fans have been pulling up all morning long, stocking up for game day. Go oh, Chiefs! Definitely! Wait till tomorrow. Even KQ choose Chris Roush made sure to pick up his flag. Let's go Chiefs! The special edition championship flags are $5 a pop. You can buy them at any participating locations in St. Joseph and Kansas City. All the proceeds support the Ronald McDonald's House Charities in KC. Reporting in St. Joseph, Kylie Thomas, KQ2 News.